first thing you're going to want to do is click into my digital account to log in with your library card and first you have to select the Fountaindale Public Library from the list of libraries in the consortium so find Fountaindale Public Library they're in alphabetical order click on it and then it will come up where you can input your library card so what you do is you go ahead and type in your library card number here and then either hit enter or click on the yellow box that says sign in and once you've signed in you've got your option to view your digital bookshelf if you've already got things checked out view books on hold, view a wish list, etc. You can also do a browse for new ebooks, um, new e-audiobooks, new arrivals, etc. However, if you're looking for a very specific book or you want to see what we've got on a particular author, you can do an advanced search by clicking on advanced search. And when you click on advanced search, this brings you to the advanced search screen. And if you're looking for an ebook, the first thing you're going to want to do is change it from all formats to Adobe EPUB ebook. This will only look for the ebooks, it won't look for the audiobooks. And then you could do a title, author, or keyword search, and we're just going to do an author search here. And once you've done your author search, you'll get a hit list of all the books by that author. And you're going to notice that your titles say two things over on the right hand side. If the book is already checked out, it will say place a hold, which allows you to hold it so that way when the book gets returned, they'll send you an email letting you know you can check it out. Or you might see something that says add to digital basket, which means that the book is already available for checking out. So in this case, if we clicked on digital basket, it'll put it into our digital basket and then we'll have two options. Option number one is we can continue browsing to find more books or we can click on proceed to checkout to go ahead and check out this book. By default it comes up with a 14 day checkout but we can change that to seven days. Um, you might want to do this because you only have a maximum of 10 items that you can check out on your Sony reader at a time. And then go ahead and click on confirm checkout and now you've checked out your book. Once you've checked out the book, it's still not available on your Sony Reader for viewing. To do that, you're going to have to first download the book. And you can download the book by clicking on the yellow button that says Download. And if you already have your Sony Reader software installed, one of your options you can do is to click on Open. If you click on Open, it'll go ahead and it'll automatically put that into your Sony Reader software and we'll be able to see it when I bring up the Sony Reader software and it'll be in the library section right now it still won't technically be on your reader if I click on reader you won't see the ninth judgment there but if I click on library you will see it there now your other option will be to download the book to your desktop and then put it on your Adobe Digital Edition. So you can go ahead and click on Download, click on Save instead of Open, go ahead and click on Desktop, or you can put it in another folder if you want. And then you can go ahead and save it. And that'll put it onto your desktop. And in the case of mine here, it's going to appear at the top part of the screen. Now what I can do is I can go ahead and reopen Adobe Digital Editions, click on the icon for the book hold down the click and drag it into the area and it might take a couple seconds but eventually what's going to happen is it's going to put it into your Adobe Digital Editions there now to actually put it on your Sony Reader so you can view it on your machine you can click back to the library view and you should see on the left hand side an icon for the um, um, Sony Digital Reader which should say PRS 600. It might have a different number if you have a different version. So what you can do is click and hold down the click on the icon for the book, drag it over the PRS 600 icon and drop it there. So now if we go ahead and we close out of or minimize Adobe Digital Editions and we reopen our Sony Reader software what we'll be able to see is it won't be located in the library however if we go ahead and we click on instead of library 
if we change that to reader we'll see it there so it's actually on the machine and we will be able to read it from the machine now when you're done reading a book if you wanted to return the book so that way if you're at your 10 item limit you can check out another book what you can do is you can go back to your Adobe Digital Edition software and click on the little arrow that's in the upper left hand corner of the icon for the book that you want to return when you click on that you'll get an option and one of your options is going to be return item so go ahead and click on that and it's going to ask you are you sure you want to return it so go ahead and click on return and when you click on return it's going to remove it from your digital edition software it's going to remove it from your Sony reader and it'll remove it from your my digital bookshelf so that way you can check out another book